Aries, it's me, Stormy, and here is your horoscope for January 2018. We are in a brand new year. I can't wait to see what kind of dust we kick up and what kind of dust settles. We've got some responsibility on our hands, and it all starts right here, January 1st. So before I even jump in and start breaking this month down by date, giving you the forecast, I hope that you will join me for my brand new feature that I've got going on all of 2018. It's three dollar Thursdays. It's a three dollar live teaching session with me where there will be question and answer. It's the third Thursday of every single month. I will be teaching some astrological concept and answering questions. So it's a much smaller, more intimate, live, real time kind of group. So it's really exciting stuff. I hope that you will join me. The first one is coming up January 18th, where we will be talking about business timing in astrology. I'll be showing you some aspects to look for. If you want to start a business, you want to end a business, you want to sell something, you want to buy something, um, you're looking to help your business change direction, something like that. We're going to be talking about that January 18th. So click in the description box down below, get booked into that or any of the sessions you want. I've also put a link so that you can buy all 12 sessions for $36 if you want to join all year long. So really exciting stuff going on. I can't wait to see what we do this year. Now, as far as January goes, Aries, we have got, this is a month of moons, seriously. So we are starting off the month with a full moon in Cancer. Then we've got the new moon happening in Capricorn. Then we've got a full moon lunar total eclipse happening at the end of the month in um, on the 31st in the sign of Leo. So it is a month of moons. So what does a month of moons mean when I think about it? First of all, it means shift and change. Most definitely, we've got some shifts and changes and they will manifest physically, likely as well. But it also means navigating new emotions, watching some things end while we're getting ready for some new things to begin. Really exciting times. So right here at the beginning of the month, we've got the full moon happening in the sign of cancer. This is our most nurturing sign. It makes us think about home, family, real estate, property here in the fourth house. This is maybe someone's moving into your house. Maybe somebody's moving out. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you are redoing your home in some way, shape, or form because it's all about creating this space of safety, security, nurturing so that when you are home, you know you are safe. When you are home, it is your actual home base. You've got a very long year coming up. You need to know that home is safe, sound, secure, and grounded for you, Aries, because man, you're gonna be getting out there into the world this year. So you're definitely gonna need to know that you've got your tacos in a row at home, right? Now, the other place that I think of when I think of home is not just your physical home, and family and property, but also your home, your body. How do you feel in your body? Does this home, does your shell of your human form feel safe, sound, secure, sane? If it doesn't, you may be looking at that, as well as some foundational level ideas that you've had. This is thinking. Remember, the fourth house also points to our roots. And these are the roots that we came up with as children, ideas and beliefs that we were given. Now, Aries, you've also had Uranus in your sign since like 2011. So your whole foundation of how you've been doing life has been shaken up, right? So ideas, attitudes, beliefs, all of these things for you have likely shifted and they've put you in a new position where, yes, you have this new foundation. Yes, you have this place where you have this brand new opportunity for a much different life than you've been experiencing, but it has probably shocked you. And Aries, what you're not strong at typically is changing direction quickly. So this has created a monumental shift and need for you to change your attitudes, ideas, and your foundation so that you can move forward. And for some of you, it's also changed your families as well. So whatever it is, Uranus also being in place now has also given you this foundational work to kind of step up, come up, grow up, and get prepared to do things differently, which we see happening just right after this full moon on the second. Uranus is not only in your sign, but he is coming direct. So Uranus is up, he's online, he's on board, he's awake. This is happening right here in your sign, Aries. So I'm telling you, you are moving different. You are talking different. You are thinking different. Your life looks different. And now Uranus says, hey, 
I get it. You've had the same structure, the same attitude, the same ideals, the same movement for a very long time, Aries. I'm trying to take you to the next level. I need you to show up differently. And where we can actually see a lot of this balance happening for you, Aries, may be in your relationships. How are you showing up to your relationships? What relationships are you allowing to show up in your life? These questions are big and serious this year. Saturn has taken a move into Capricorn, which is not only about career, it is also about your soul level calling and the reputation you hold in the world how you show up is what builds that reputation who you show up as is what builds that calling are you fulfilling who you're supposed to be so a lot of changes to how you get to show up this year but it's sexy Aries because you start to show up different you let people teach you you grow this year you start doing things differently and you get to go to the next level really exciting on the 12th of the month, we're going to see Mercury stepping into a fully loaded 10th house for you, okay? Mercury is our communication planet, so communication, conversation, ideas, decision making, your thinking, right, is getting moved into a very serious energy, moving into Capricorn, joining not only Pluto, who's up there, Saturn, who just got up there, and we know he's not playing around, right? Venus, lovely. Hi, Venus. And the sun. So there is a lot of intensity running through this 10th house. So what does this look like? For you, this could be conversations this month about maybe getting a raise, maybe things about work, maybe what you want to do, maybe a direction you want to take your career. Because yes, the 10th house is career, but I don't want you to feel like if you are retired, unemployed, um, if you do a stay-at-home position, which is not unemployed, you have a real job any of these things even a hobby something you feel passionate about I don't want you to feel like when I say career if you're not making thousands and thousands of dollars for it that I'm not talking to you because I am this soul level calling space at the top of your chart Aries is telling us you've got a shift and a conversation and you've got energy working here which could look like a change in your reputation even a change in your status you've just had a full moon up here in cancer right Maybe you have a different status. Aries, did you get married? Did you get divorced? Did you become a manager? Um, did you start a business, right? Whatever has happened in this fourth house may also have an impact of what's changing up here in the 10th house, but certainly changes in the career, you taking new responsibility, you stepping up, you have to bring some different thinking, decision-making and communication to the table is absolutely on the agenda around the 12th of the month here. Now, on the 16th, we've got another moon, okay? This one is a new moon. It's the new moon in Capricorn. So the full moon says something has to end, be acknowledged, or adjusted, so we seek change. At the new moon, what we're doing is planting these seeds of intention for what we would love to see play out, where we wanna go, where we want to create abundance. This is in Capricorn, and we've got these fully loaded planets up there as well. Now a new moon blessing this section. Where do you want to go in your career? Is it time for that promotion? Um, are you finishing some education and you're getting ready to figure out where you want that career to go? Whatever it is, the hobby, the healing, the I just feel creative, it's time to step into that. So plant those seeds of intention right here at this point in the month so we can watch them bloom over the next four weeks, okay? On the 18th, we've got Venus coming into Aquarius. On the 21st, we have got the sun coming into Aquarius. So now we are loaded in the friendship sector. The 11th house is, is friends, groups, group membership, um, social things, anything social, um, which can include social media as well, okay? So this is a time where Venus and the sun get together. This is lovely. This is lovely energy. Venus wants to bring beauty, diplomacy, um, harmony, sensuality, a sense of magnetism, some love to the table. The sun is vibrant. It's the essence of what we've got going on in movement. So this is a time where you could be out and about. Maybe you're being social. Maybe you're putting a resume out there uh, in the social medias because you're trying to figure out this career thing. Maybe you've got to make some new connections, right? This is a wonderful time to find your tribe, Aries, if you feel like you don't know how to bridge the gap from here in this life to the next level life that you want. It's time to start asking some questions, getting some teachers, surrounding yourself with groups you can learn with, whether that be online or in person. Now, this could also just be a fun time for friends. Now, because Venus is in the mix, I will say 
You could also be at some social thing and attract somebody romantic to you. Or you and someone that you are involved with could be out and about being social as well. It's a very social energy. Some of you will be at the gym making gains. I already know. <laughs> I support you fully. Okay, we get to the 28th of the month and we see Mars moving into Sagittarius. So now our energy starts to shift, okay? We're going to move into a space where it's like education, expansion, faith. Faith for you, I think, is going to be so critical in January because I think, Aries, you're going to hit a wall and you're going to realize you've got to get bigger and how are you going to do that besides taking a leap, right? But this could also be the space of education and things like that. For some of you, some legal things could be going on. You could be choosing to take legal action. So this is actually a very good month for that energy to be happening for you as well. My students out there, anything educationally, don't waste your Mars energy. Push it forward, okay? Now, as we end the month, we get to our third moon of the month. Three moons in a month. This is a movement kind of month. This is going to be the lunar eclipse happening at 11 degrees of Leo. Now, this is closely tied with Ceres, so we see a lot of things about women coming to the table to the surface. So for you, Aries, first of all, this lunar eclipse is a reset, right? When we're eclipsing, we're resetting. This is an emotional reset. So this being in Leo is the fifth house for you, okay? So this could be something about children. Maybe you never wanted children. Now you have children, right? This could be fun. This could be play because this is still another full moon. So it says something has to end, be acknowledged, or be adjusted. Maybe you have children moving into your house. Maybe you are ready to play. Maybe you're ready to express. Maybe in something romantic, you're like, hey, hey, boo-boo, we need to spend some more time together. You know, maybe your sense of, of child play expression is here, risen to the surface, and you're ready to enact something. Another thing I think is that for people who've been trying to maybe start a new business or something like that, if there have been aspects that haven't been solid, you haven't been able to really make a creative move on them, I think this will show you what's not working because a full moon does do that. It shows you what's not working. But whatever this energy is, it could be connected and tied to um, a female in the world who has some significant impact on you over the next six months to a year, really even longer. It's a beautiful resetting point because this is an eclipse, so we're going to reset those emotions, right? You get a reset, which means you get to start fresh, think what you wanna think, move how you wanna move towards what you think is the most ideal life and experience for you. What a fun month! I mean, it's a moon month, but I think it's loaded with blessings, Aries. You are a mover and shaker this year. You've got new responsibilities coming to the table. What I will tell you is that welcome them. Welcome them with open arms, and I'm human too, so I know that sometimes changing and shifting is very hard. You are a very single-focused sign, so you think that your way is the way most of the time. Not everybody, but most of the time. But what I will tell you too is that this year, the universe has no chill. You have to step up or it will drag you 100%. So don't let this beautiful head get in the way. You have an incredible opportunity to do something beautiful right here in January, Aries. I'm sending you lots of love. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. If you need a reading, come visit me at stormygrace.com plus your lunar and solar eclipse um, Readings are available in the description box down below as well. I'll see you guys in February. Bye.